Hi everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Stampin' Cafe and welcome to my channel. I've been away for a while, but now I am back. And so, hey, hello, if you are watching this video, click that subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Um, leave me a comment too to say, hey, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you these wonderful Santa Express Memory and More cards and Memory and More envelopes. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, they are just fabulous. They're part of the Santa's Express suite of products that can be found in the July to December 2022 mini catalog by Stampin' Up. It also is, oh, last couple weeks stretch for our celebration of free products. Let me show you the memories and more cards real quick in envelopes. You get um, 20, 10 each of a green splattered or the red and green polka dot white base, really pretty. And then the envelopes as well. I love that they have this open part for your writing. The green has the red and green polka dots and the red ones have the stripes. So that's what I love really a lot about the Memories and More products because you don't have to have a lot of stamping supplies to create wonderful, wonderful cards. So much is included for you. Let me show you. So what's really interesting about this particular Memories and More pack, you are getting six cards of the small ones, which are about three and a, uh, uh, four by three and a, three cards. Um, you're getting six of each design, which is fabulous because you can make 36 Christmas cards just like that. Look at this cute Santa. If you join me on Facebook Live on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time uh, at the Stampin' Cafe on Facebook, I'll put that link below. I'm going to be doing some step-up cards using these memories and more cards where we take kind of a basic design, how they're kind of created, and then step them up for pizzazz and jazz so they become wow cards. So aren't those sweet? Six each. And I'm going to make a card, send a card group that I host. And so I'll be making some of those up to send. You also get um, three of each of the larger cards, which are double-sided. I love this one. That's going to be part of my step it up using, yep, you guessed it, the gnomes. If you haven't seen the gnomes in the July to December mini, just go on stampinup.com to my store and check out the kindest gnomes. Beautiful, soft, uh, great, great candy canes for backgrounds, a background layer, and look at how fun. Oh, what fun. These Santa and Mrs. Claus, they match the designer series paper. Season's greeting here, I can see some great memory keeping. I love these trees. This would be another great thing to use, the kindest gnomes uh, suite in there too. And then we have the Santa Express train. I see some great journaling going on here with this one. And then we have our adhesive pieces. A couple of sheets of those. There are beautiful, beautiful printed vellum pieces. We have snowflakes. It's a wonderful time of year. Merry and bright. And then we have ho, 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 ho. And then we have a couple of sheets of our wooden pieces, very delicate. I took the ho, ho, ho. It took me a little bit of time, but patience uh, will work great. You can also go ahead and use your Stampin' Blends or blending brushes on those to get some different colors. So let's talk about my card today. I am going to be using the splattered green card base. And then, where's my card? Where's my card that I wanna use? There it is. This one just screams cutting apart, doesn't it? I love that one. So what I'm gonna do is we want this to be jazzy, 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 is I'm going to use the red glimmer paper. This comes in a package of red and white glimmer paper, so you're getting four of the red and four of the white glimmer. Love it. So I need a piece of that. Let me get my trimmer. So first off, for this card, you can see I want it to fit a little bit better on the base of this card. The card is um, longer than an A2 size card, and that's great. It's no problem. So let's go ahead and get my layer. This card, again, is 
four by three, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna go three and a quarter. by four and a quarter. Great. Then I'm gonna use this piece right here because now, here comes the fun. I am going to, let's get that light out of the way. I'm going to trim this card. This card to me just screams trimming it away. Uh, you can get some different dimensions and things by doing this. You can raise part of it up with dimensionals. You can just create different tags with these, whatever you would like. And so now when I measure this one, because I'm going to give this a layer of the, is one and an eighth by three. So I'm going to keep it by three because I already have the glimmer paper layer and you're going to see that. And then I am going to do one and a quarter. I just want a little bit of it. There we go, so that's that piece. Now I have a little bit of fun, I can use these for something else. All right, let's bring this back. So we have our pieces here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to adhere. My C is four. Now remember, this is strictly a quarter of an inch layer, so I'm gonna put this one down first. Now I would say, usually, if I do something like this, I would put the center in. But the problem with that is this center is going to have this layer of this little tiny bit of the glimmer coming out of it. So then I don't want to run the risk of putting it in the center and then these other pieces not fitting in. So and then this one's going to even from the top one, the same distance, line it up and put it down. And now this guy's gonna go in the center here and it's gonna be raised up with dimensionals. Now I use my Tombow liquid glue uh, because it will really adhere well with the glimmer paper. You probably could use the Stamp and Seal Plus. Now this one to me seems like it's a very, very fine edging on that. Um, on the glimmer paper, it's just peeking out there. Can you see? It's just peeking out. So now I'm going to go ahead. Now see how this guy is sticking up a little bit there. I don't want that. So let's bring it up before everything's glued. Let's put a little bit more look good glue just on that edge there. There we go. Hold that down a little bit. We don't want any poking up sides. None of that. All right, so I'm going to grab my dimensionals. I had another dimensional here started, but okay. <laughs> Now I want to make sure that this is held down well, so I'm going to do two, there's one in the center, top and bottom on this, and make sure that it holds down well. The other thing I'm going to do once I take these off, the dimensionals might not adhere too great to that glimmer paper. It's just such a rough surface, so one of the things I do to kind of protect it and help it to adhere really well, is I will take my Tombow liquid glue and just do a little bit with that dimensional so it will help adhere it to the card. So now this is gonna raise up and go right in the center, line it up, line it up, line it up. Down it goes. And now when I lift that up here for you to see, I've added dimension, popped out that Christmas, and then also gave it an edge of that glimmer paper. So the cookies, 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 cheer, 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 is standing out, okay? 
that's wonderful. Now when I go to put this on the card, I'm also going to be to be doing that. But before we do that, I'm going to come back to the larger cards because I think I have an idea. I would like to use, where is it? Which one is it? Not the candy canes. There it is. I'm going to use these trees and let's bring our trimmer back in. What I would like to do is to cut one of these tree strips, just one. Yes, yes, yes. I might want to do two. We'll see. Oh, I just took a Santa's, Santa's little sleigh. Oh no, <laughs> that's okay, really. Okay, let's bring this back in. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and put our tree here and see what happens when I put this back on. I don't get a lot of the tree, but here's what I'm going to do. Let's bring that trimmer back in. I'm gonna kind of just cut it in half. Our length is six. Huh. So we'll go three. That's easy. So the length of the large cards are six. I bet they're four by six is my guess. I just didn't pay attention to them this time. They're always the same. All right. And so now that I've got two of these, I can do a little bit more. I can put one here. And then I can come over and put one down here. So it really is just for some interest. I like it. All right. Let's do that. Just it adds a little more interest to the background of the card. And it doesn't seem such a large background. It needs a, a little bit more breaking up. So I'm going to put this one here. And then this one's going to come down right here, I think. Put this back here and see. Yep, that'll be great. Make sure we're lined up there. And now we're gonna use dimensionals to raise this piece up. You know, dimensionals and adding that texture and dimension to your card really adds a lot of interest. It's that perspective of the eye. Now, I really don't like my card to flop in that center so I will put three along the edge and then that one in the center. I could put another one at top and bottom center but that's that's a little much. So then this guy is going to come in here and I want to kind of line up the distance I have from this one to this one. Oh yeah I like that that's kind of fun. Now, the other thing that we need, of course, is bling. And I have got so much here. So let me tell you a little bit about the bling that I have. I have some uh, a package of the 2022-24 in colors. And oh my gosh, aren't they fun? I love these two together. And then we can't see the, the top color, which is a red. We also have the fine sparkle adhesive back gems. These are actually out of the uh, mini catalog as well. Then we have the adhesive back sequins. That's the annual catalog. And then the glossy dot assortment. I thought the glossy dots would be really fun, but I don't think that color is going to match very well. So, you know, I am going to do a giveaway. And on my video today, if you're watching, make a comment below and tell me which of these adhesives uh, dots do you really, really like? And I'm going to surprise somebody with one of these packages. Um, I think I'm going to try the fine sparkle adhesive dots. Yes, you heard me right. So comment below. Tell me uh, which of those you really, really loved. I know that's kind of hard. <laughs> We have sequin jams, we have glossy dots, and we've got in colors. I'm going to gift one of those to somebody. Ah, you know what, just make a comment. Comment of any. Well, as I'm looking at these, 
I don't know if I like those. I'm going to try. I'm going to go ahead and try the glossy dot assortment. It's fun just playing around today with these. Those might be. You know what? I think I'm going to use, I am going to use these. They kind of, they, the mint macaron matches the card things here, so I think those will be perfect for me. I'm going to do a large one. I'm going to do a large one right there. And then a couple little ones. I'll put a little one right down there. I'm going to put another little one right up here. Oh, cute. See, those mint macaron dots are perfect for the mint macaron that's on the card. So there is a fantastic card front. Now, let's take a look at the inside of our card. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love that glimmer red. It just adds such a punch and then raising up that part of the card. Now, let's go to the package of adhesive sheets that we get and take a look for the inside of the card it has C is for cookies carols and Christmas perfect so Christmas is going to come right in the center here the other thing I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab the candy cane of course because we have the candy cane on the front of the car like so and there we go C is for Christmas carols there we go you know do I want Christmas because we say Christmas right here you know let's see I don't know that I do like that let's see if I can easily get these off which you can so you probably want a little adhesive if you're gonna use these Yes, you do. Okay, I am going to put in Happy Holidays. And even though this has adhesive on it, I was really able to pick that up quite easily. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of my liquid glue across the back just to help it stay down. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go, Happy Holidays. And then my little candy cane. There we go. That is fun. So I love these little adhesive pieces. Happy holidays with our candy cane. All right, so let's take a look at that. Now I am going to give you a little hint. Take a look at this guy right here. If you go ahead and take and cut out that piece and love. Simply raise it up on dimensionals and put it right back in its place. You'll have instant depth and much more interest to the card. That's just a little, and then, oh, hello, Santa. Such fun. I hope you guys wanna go ahead and click the link below that I put in for the Stampin' Cafe. It's a Facebook group that just shares all sorts of fun and love of stamping. And that's where I do my Wednesday Facebook Lives. Give me a thumbs up for this card, you guys. And again, comment, just any old comment today about my returning back or the card from today. And I'm gonna do a drawing and I'm gonna pick one lucky winner to win the glossy dot assortment or the in color matte dots or the adhesive back sequin gems. How fun is that? Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, happy stamping.